with your father. Huh? And you didn't choose your natural father. So why would you think you could choose your spiritual? That's God's choice. There are some occasions uh, where the children of Israel, God said, I'm going to let y'all go and choose y'all king. He said, he said, I want to be, I, God said, I just, well, I want to be y'all God. I want to be y'all everything. But the people said, no, we want a king like the other folk got a king. Come on, somebody. So God said, okay, y'all go, I'm going to let y'all have y'all king. And they chose their own king named Saul. I wish I had some folk that read the study of the Bible. And God let them have their king because he loved them. He let them choose. Yeah. He said, okay, you chose Saul. He's your king. So what did Saul do? Saul turned his back on him, messed him up. Huh? But then God comes back and what? He chose David. And he said, now this is the king that I have chosen. It's in there if we just take time and study it, Chris. If we'll take time and read and study our Bible half as much as we watch BET. Just half as much. Not that. We got little babies running around talking about what that little window woman, what she say, how you doing? We got a little baby saying that. But they ain't even, don't even know. John 3.16, what's her name? <laughs> Say, don't you know it. Don't act like you don't know who it is. <laughs> who I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Wendy Williams, right. Study to show thyself approved. That's why the nights, winds and nights are so important to your spirituality, to your growth. But you got to realize that I don't care how long you've been in church, you really don't still don't know nothing. Because <laughs> cause for years all we heard was the same thing over and over. Yeah. Daniel in the lion's den. I ain't. <laughs> the three Hebrew boys. Oh, man. Come on, somebody. <laughs> learn how to do church. We learn when to say amen, when to stand up, when to sit down. We know all that. But we don't really know. God, how God wants us to live. How he wants to be a part of every aspect of our life. Want us to be in him. In, in, for in him we live and move and have our being. It's not about the singing. It ain't even about the preaching. It's about your living. Living the word, being an example, loving God by loving others, helping each other, praying for each other. There's so much more to it. As long as we've been having Wednesday nights, shoot, we ought to be church ought to be full. But we hadn't been taught how to evangelize. We hadn't been taught how to share the Jesus in me with you. We've been preached to, but we hadn't been taught much.
then I'm right there too. I can't, you know, so much stuff I don't know. I look at, you know, other preachers and I'd be like, <laughs> my wife, every time I go to Texas, I'd be like, I don't know nothing. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because I see all these, you know, and I see what they're doing and what they know, and I, I'm like, <laughs> my wife encouraged me, like, you know something, baby, don't say that. But I'd be like, man, I need, so much I need to know, ain't back. And I don't know, because I just ain't been taught, ain't nobody taught me. That's why I try to do all I can to learn so what I can share with y'all. I don't know which way to go now. I don't want I don't I don't want to There's so many scriptures in here, and I printed some off because when you look at the word choose, I found that the word choose was in there in the Bible over 50 times, and most, all of them except about five or six were what God said, I shall choose. And then the word chosen, I looked it up in the Bible, and it's in there over 100 times when he says, I have chosen. And if we would just take these scriptures, choose and chosen, and see what God chose for us and how he wants us to choose. Man, our lives would be so much better. I was just sitting there reading some of these scriptures, and I'd be like, my God. You mean God has chosen this for me? You mean this happened if I choose this, or if I choose that, this going to happen? They got to know that the Bible is still relevant to you. And if they chose and got these results, then if I choose this, I'm going to get this too. And if you find out that you're not getting what you think you should get from God, then we need to go back and start backtracking some of our choices. Come on, somebody. Because if something ain't right, then it's tied to something over here that I didn't do right. And I need to find out why I made the wrong choice so I can make the right choice next time. Because if I don't, I'm going to keep on getting the same, the same. Choose ye this day. <sighs> now the revelation I got of when Joshua said that to the people is, he said, choose ye this day. He didn't tell them to choose yesterday. He didn't even tell them to choose tomorrow. All you got to deal with is, come on somebody. This day. Now tomorrow I could I can even see him saying the same thing the next day. Choose ye again. And then coming on down to Tuesday and saying, Choose ye every day. We gotta make the right choice to serve God. There's a saying that, you know, you get up on the wrong side of the bed. Y'all heard that before? <laughs> the way, you know, if you believe that, and I don't believe in that stuff, but if you believe that, if you got up on this side of the bed one day and that didn't work, then the next morning, like you ought to get up on the other side. <laughs> Try it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, preacher. I'm going to sleep on the floor. I ain't going to even get in the bed. But we got to start what I'm trying to get to see. We got to start examining our choices. Because we're making some bad choices. Because we're leaning to our own understanding. Instead of letting God choose for us. 
and it's in here. Every choice we ought to make, it's in here. Everything we ought to do, everything we ought not do, it's in here. And if you can't read it, he'll speak it to you. He'll tell somebody to give it to you. Anybody ever ask somebody to pray with them on a choice you need to make? Come on, come on now. 